Hello there, this is Jesse Coffee with my uh, Paramount VHS collection again. With my titles that I have from um, the Viacom era of the company. There we go. First one is Clear and Present Danger, the only Jack Ryan movie that I have. Lease number 32463. This has an ad for the other Jack Ryan movies that were out at the time on the back. Printed during the first week of 1995. This actually is a premium for those two at the beginning. What I remember from the opening preview sequence. And we got Forrest Gump. With Tom Hanks. Tap back. At least in 1995. April 1995 to be exact, I believe. Lease number 32583. And this has things in there. Twelve week of nineteen ninety five. Then we have Alicia Silverstone in Kalulis. Breakout roll. Bonus music video all right by Supergrass. I hope that's true. Because if it's not, I'm putting it in a donation box. Nineteen ninety five release. Reprint from the twenty fourth week of nineteen ninety six. Next one. Read the ISBN numbers. Next one is A Charlie Brown Christmas The Peabody and Emmy Award winner Number Clueless was Clueless was 3 3, 2, 1, 5 and This is 1, 5, 3, 7, 2 This is a Peanuts home video release Cover artwork has been enhanced, apparently. Now, isn't it weird that even though this has the Buy Icon Buy label, the text still says 1994 by Paramount Pictures? Isn't it a bit weird? Uh, this was printed on the 49th week of 1993. Bit of a weird variant there. Text. Okay, then we have Walk into the Danger Zone again with the nineteen ninety six printing of Top Gun. Just checking the ISBN numbers, folks. I right, put a print date of February 27, 1998. This was really printed during the 44th week of 1998. But I think it says the 96 opening. I can't remember it, though. I'll have to check it to see if it has updated previews and whatnot. Next I have, this is a Columbia House copy. Primal Fever. With Richard Gear. It's also co-presented by Reicher Entertainment. Their logo isn't on the movie. I 
I have the novel on which it was based. It was written by a, a certain William F. Deal, who wrote the sequel to it, which is called Reign of Evil. It was never made into a film to date. Printed on December 4, 13, 1996. Next we have The Nick of Time with Johnny Depp. 90 minutes, 6 bullets, no choice. 33041. Final here is 328323. 328323. Three, three. Nick of Time is 33041. And the top and the back. The opening to this tape is yet to be posted as of this writing. Printed during the 16th week of 1995. Next we have a Rugrats team. Rugrats was owned by was on Nickelodeon, which was owned by Viacom. Which accounts for their releasing this. For Paramount releasing it at least. Previously the Rugrats were on Sony Wonder. Sony Wonder. What a baby's gotta do, what a baby's gotta do. Four cartoons, which are Monsters in the Garage, Touchdown Tommy, Let There Be Light, and The Inside Story, plus two classic shorts, both of which have the Inside Out Boy. Put it on June 7, 1996. This was... During the 28th week of 1997, though. Off. Bits. I used to write print dates on my VHS tapes before I discovered we can get codes. I was a bit like... Like a G-Force backup who... Um, hasn't really gone around the VHS community since... Until 2016. Since 2016, yeah. I was a bit like in that regard. Next we have Harriet the Spy on your case. And this has two Rugrats music videos. Number is 327570. And this is from 1996. As it says on the back, the actual release date of this tape is February 25th, 1997, though. This was printed during the fourth week of 1997. <coughs> hey. Then we have Face Off with John Travolta and Nicholas Cage. This is also a Touchstone film. They had the international rights, which is important because the film was edited to bits in the UK. And this is a Columbia House copy, as you can see. Uh, printed on November 19, 1997. Okay. Make a jump cut there. This is the first team after the jump cut, which is the 20th anniversary edition of Reese. As a video bonus with John Travolta, Olivia Newton John, Stoddard Channing, Jeff Conway, Didi Khan, director Randall Kleiser, and producer Alan Carr providing new retrospective interviews. This is THS certified. I do not know whether or not it has the logo. The THX logo at the beginning. Even though it is THX certified, a lot of THX certified tapes appeared in the 90s, and they either would 
there are companies who made THX certified tapes. A lot of them did. These companies either used the THX logo or they didn't. I'm not sure which category Paramount falls under. Printed during the fourth week of 2002. And the last, this team does not have the preview for the Rugrats movie at the beginning for the interviews. The original team of the 20th anniversary of Greece, uh, the original print of the 20th anniversary edition of Greece did have that. Mine doesn't for some reason. Next we have Mother's Day. No. Now this is a Rugrats video called Mommy Mia. That light bulb came through a red light, so I wanted you to see it clearly, which you probably can't um, if it's under this sort of light. This special is Mother's Day. The episodes are Family Feud, Game Show DD, and Mommy's Little Assets. Printing of March 11, 1998, down there. And this was printed during the 12th of 1998. I used to do that a lot. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. I used to put print dates on um, these tapes that didn't have one. I didn't discover. I didn't know what weekend year codes were back then. So. Then we got. I heard this was supposed to be a very good film, actually from director Frank Oz. In and Out. With Kevin Klein in it. This is uh, presented in association with Spelling Films. And Spelling Films, who at the time was bought out by Viacom. As this came out on Paramount. Printed on August 30th, 1998. I believe this was released in March that year. Next we have a summer 1998 release of Angelica Knows Best from Rugrats. Five skiing stories which are comprised of Psycho Angelica, Angelica Knows Best, Angelica's Last Stand, Ransom of Angelica, a Ransom of Cynthia rather, and Word of the Day. And that's basically Basically, it's the Rugrats version of the Loud House episode, which was titled Potty Mouth. Or really, any episode that had to deal with obscenities coming out of kids on television. Um, I used to write all over the Invisible Ink printing on this one with a cartridge number, because this is a Canadian copy of Angelica Knows Best. I didn't know but they had scrabblings down there around 1998. I didn't know what they were, but I was 12 years old. But I wrote random scramblings over what turned out to be the visible ink print date. So I erased it and I got, I got to be successful at it. I, I didn't know what it was at first, but I now see that there was a print date and the print date is June 3rd, 1998. Again, this is a Canadian copy of it because you see the Canadian home video ring on the label and stuff. And let's stop there.